For too long, we in Connecticut have been forced to settle for too little, too late. Um, and uh, this is yet another step to change that direction. Uh, we have uh, uh, the University of Connecticut campus uh, here. Uh, it has done great work and provided great service uh, over the decades. But like every initial investment, there comes a time when you have to replace and invest again. And that discussion has been going on for a long time in our state. Um, and uh, it has uh, hatched several plans in the past. But all of those plans, in my opinion, were too small, too late, too little, and did too, too little for our economy. What we're talking about today is a different vision of the future, one which will allow us to tap into the great work that's already been done on this campus, on the campus at Storrs, and on the campus at Yale. In some senses, we are creating our own research triangle in our little state of Connecticut. What this plan will do is not simply replace beds. That's been talked about in the past. What this is is a dynamic investment in the future, in bioscience, in job creation, bringing more scientists uh, to this campus, bringing more faculty to this campus, enlarging the output of our medical school and our dental school, assuring our progress in the future, making sure that we can sustain who we are and what we are and our position in the world, and then move substantially beyond it. There is a reality that institutions like ours, the University of Connecticut, are in many ways measured by how many dollars we invite to our campus, to our institutions in research. This is a substantial down payment uh, to enlarging our capacity to attract those dollars in the future. By year 37, what we'll see is a growth in that capacity in earnings of $4.6 billion. What we can also measure is how many more doctors will be available to us in this state. And with an innovative program coming from the leadership of the University of Connecticut, we will entice more of those doctors to remain in primary practice here in Connecticut. And I'm particularly proud of that. This goes well beyond stabilizing who we are and what we are. This is a vision of what the future can bring. And, and let me be very clear, if we fail to make this investment at this time, if we fail to commit to this program, then we are going to lose ground. We've seen just in the past year that we've lost some ground with respect to jobs moving to Cambridge, Massachusetts, because of the size of the investment made in those communities in and around Cambridge. We can't afford to lose more of those jobs. And we can't afford to lose our opportunity to grow jobs in our state. That is what this investment is about. It's not about beds. And it's not just about research. And it's not just about students. It's about the future of the state of Connecticut and what we aspire to be. And that's why I'm asking the legislature to get behind this plan, to make this commitment at this time, so that we can begin recruiting those researchers and scientists, so that we can begin to build up the faculty, so that we can begin to move forward, so that people are clear that Connecticut is making a major investment in its future. And that is what's represented in this proposal. <laughs> to UConn itself, to its trustees, both of the university and uh, the board here uh, on this campus. I, I want to thank you for the work that you've done. Nothing I've said would be possible without the early work and the sustained work that you have done. In, in essence, what we're doing is, uh, is adding a fantastic new layer to a, a, a cake that's already been baked. But in doing so, we secure our future. Bioscience Connecticut is entirely different from prior proposals that involve the health center. Could not be more different. While they were pr principally the past, in the past uh, intended to secure the health center's financial footing, this initiative is primarily focused on using the health center to achieve state economic and health care objectives creating well-paying jobs, and linking the university, the economy, and public health. Bioscience. 
Bioscience Connecticut will enable the Health Center to double federal and industry bioscience research grants. There will be a huge return on investment to the state. I have seen this happen firsthand elsewhere in Illinois, in New York, in Georgia. Connecticut is just as progressive and just as talented as those other places, and we deserve those precious federal funds as well. Yes. <laughs> as I said a few months ago when I accepted this job, the university's contribution to the state's economic development and well-being will be a top priority for me. Connecticut can count on UConn, on our faculty, our clinicians, our researchers, our scientists to make this a successful venture. It's not risky at all. We guarantee you success with the kind of investment um, we're so lucky to have. So on behalf of my colleagues here at the university, at the Health Center and far beyond, I want to assure the governor, our elected officials, and the citizens of Connecticut that we are enthusiastically committed to this venture and very confident of its success. We could not be more grateful, and that is something I will say and thank every day of my presidency. For clinical care, Bioscience Connecticut includes the creation of a new outpatient medical complex where more primary care and medical specialists will provide services for our state. It also calls for the completion of previously approved plans to construct a new patient care tower on the campus, renovate the John Dempsey Hospital, and implement community-based health care programs throughout, through the Yukon uh, network, health network throughout the uh, region. This will be a tremendous asset for the region and the state. As you know, we recently completed the 2011 commencement exercises for the schools of medicine, dental medicine, and also the graduate school. Last weekend, these students followed in the footsteps of thousands of men and women who have walked before them. Now, the governor's plan seeks to increase the number of Connecticut-trained physicians and dentists through a substantial increase in the combined schools of medicine and schools of dental medicine class sizes in the coming years. As many of you know, a dramatic shortage of physicians and dentists is predicted in the state. Just, just last week, the Association of American Medical Colleges released a report predicting a shortage of 45,000 primary care physicians nationally by 2020. By training more physicians and dentists, the governor's plan responds to these trends. In addition, Bioscience Connecticut calls for the creation of a new debt forgiveness program to ease the burden on students who choose to pursue careers in primary care medicine in the state. <laughs> these students, these students will staff the front lines in med of medicine and dentistry here in Connecticut, and they will serve generations to come. Now, an important focus of the Bioscience Connecticut plan is to harness the tremendous potential of the Integrated Academic Medical Center in driving research, innovation, technology, and invention. These are tools for prosperity, and these are tools that make this country great. And so with Bioscience Connecticut, an extensive renovation of our research laboratories here at the University of Connecticut Health Center will occur. A cadre of clinician scientists and basic scientists will be recruited to augment our already excellent faculty to work at the interfaces of clinical care and research. In all, Bioscience Connecticut will help recast the Hartford region as a healthcare destination. It will move our academic medical center to the next level and will create lasting jobs, lasting jobs through technology. Governor Malloy, we applaud you for forging a new plan that uses the strengths of our schools, our research enterprise, and our clinical services to meet the needs of our state. Thank you.